They sailed across oceans, reeking of salt, sweat and gunpowder, chasing treasure and survival in equal measure. No iceboxes, no supermarkets, just barrels of salted meat and casks of rum keeping them alive under a blistering sun. Pirates weren't just rogues of the sea. They were resourceful survivalists who mastered food preservation long before electricity was even a dream. If you're into prepping or just fascinated by ancient life hacks that still work today, hit that subscribe button, because what you're about to learn could literally save your stash one day. Let's get real. Life aboard a pirate ship wasn't all gold coins and adventure. These ships were floating ovens by day and damp caves by night. Food spoiled fast in the Caribbean heat, and the nearest resupply point might be hundreds of miles away. Pirates needed food that could last months without turning toxic. Salt air, humidity, and limited fresh water made preservation a matter of life and death. So how did they pull it off? Through methods so effective, they've stood the test of time and are still used by off-grid homesteaders, survivalists, and preppers across the world. Before refrigeration, salt was king. Pirates salted everything, beef, pork, fish, because salt draws out moisture, the lifeblood of bacteria. They'd pack cuts of meat into barrels layered with coarse sea salt or dunk them in brine so strong it could sting a wound. A salted slab of beef could last months, even in tropical heat. Sometimes they'd smoke it first for extra longevity. The result wasn't exactly gourmet dining. It was chewy, tough and salty but it kept the crew alive. Today, the same principle powers modern prepping. Salt curing and brining are still among the most reliable ways to store meat without refrigeration. All you need is salt, time, and patience. If it worked on a pirate ship with zero hygiene, imagine what it can do in your controlled storage setup. Every pirate ship carried hardtack, also known as ship's biscuit. It was the definition of simplicity, flour, water, and sometimes salt, baked until rock hard. These biscuits were so tough you could crack a tooth if you weren't careful. Pirates often dipped them in rum or soup just to make them edible. But here's the brilliance hardtack could last a year or more if kept dry. No mould, no rot, just dense calorie-packed survival food. Preppers still use similar recipes today for emergency rations. It's light, cheap, and can outlast nearly any other non-perishable item. If you ever want to feel like a true sea dog, bake a batch yourself. You'll respect every bite once you know what it took to survive out there. When pirates raided merchant ships, they didn't just take gold, they took pickled vegetables. Onions, cabbage, even cucumbers floating in vinegar or salty brine were prized treasures. Why? Well, because vinegar is a natural preservative. Its acidity kills bacteria before they can spoil food. Pickle produce gave pirates something they desperately lacked. Vitamins, especially vitamin C, to fight off scurvy. Many ships that didn't use pickling ended up with crews too sick to fight. Modern preppers rely on the same chemistry. Pickling is fast, effective, and doesn't need electricity. A jar of vinegar and salt water could keep your vegetables safe for months. Pirates knew it, and now you do too. 
Fresh fish was abundant, but it spoiled fast. Pirates often dried or smoked their catch to make it last. They'd hang strips of fish in the sun or build makeshift smoke racks over coals, letting heat and smoke pull the moisture out slowly. Properly dried fish could last for weeks or even months if kept dry. It wasn't exactly fine dining, but, you know, it was pure protein that wouldn't rot in a barrel. Even today, dehydrating or smoking meat and fish is still one of the best ways to store food when you're off the grid. Solar dehydrators, smokehouses, and even simple air-drying racks all use the same principles that pirates, well, perfected centuries ago. If you've ever wondered why pirates loved rum so much, it wasn't just for the buzz. Alcohol doesn't spoil easily, and pirates used it to preserve both their spirits and their food. Some even soaked fruit or hardtack in rum just to prevent mould. Fermented foods like sauerkraut and beer were also common, though more on naval vessels than pirate ones. The science was simple. Controlled fermentation produces acids and alcohols that block bacterial growth. Fast forward to today... Fermentation is still one of the most powerful, low-tech preservation methods. Kombucha, kimchi and fermented vegetables can last months, even years, without refrigeration. It's proof that old-world chemistry beats modern convenience any day. Pirates didn't have plastic containers or vacuum sealers, but they had barrels, and they used them brilliantly. Thick wooden casks sealed with pitch or wax kept oxygen and moisture out, protecting dried grains, flour, beans and salted foods from the elements. A properly sealed barrel could endure storms, humidity and months of travel. The modern version? Airtight containers, mylar bags and wax-sealed jars all following the same principle of isolating food from air and moisture. These storage strategies aren't just history. They're the backbone of smart prepping. When power goes out, airtight storage keeps your food safe, just like it did for pirates centuries ago. Pirates didn't rely on luck. They relied on method. Every preservation trick they used was about one thing, control. Control moisture, air and bacteria, and you control time itself. Whether you're living off-grid, building a prepper pantry, or just want to reduce waste, these ancient techniques are as relevant now as ever. Salting, drying, pickling, fermenting, sealing. Each one turns ordinary food into survival gold. Pirates didn't just plunder, they planned. They hacked nature's decay and built survival systems that still inspire today's preppers. Their story isn't just history, it's a blueprint. So, if you're building your own survival setup, remember, the sea dogs of the 1700s figured it out long before any of us had freezers. Respect the salt, trust the vinegar, seal it tight, and you'll be ready for anything. If you enjoyed this deep dive into pirate preservation hacks, drop a like, share it with a fellow prepper, and make sure you're subscribed to Prepper Survival Blueprint for more ancient wisdom turned modern strategy. Stay sharp, stay ready, and keep your barrels sealed.